The Challenge of the Yukon. On King! On you, Husky! <laughs> Wonder Dog King, swiftest and strongest of Eskimo lead dogs, blazes the trail through storm and snow for Sergeant Preston as he meets the Challenge of the Yukon. <laughs> Sergeant Preston was typical of the small band of Northwest Mounted Police who preserved law and order in the new Northwest country, where the greed for wealth and power led to frequent violence and bloodshed. But in spite of the odds against them, Sergeant Preston and his wonder dog, King, met that challenge, and justice ruled triumphant. (laughs) Old Ezra Thompson sat alone in his cabin with his dog, Rex, the large German shepherd gazed up at his master and whined sympathetically as he noted the sorrow in the old man's voice. Uh, Rex, guess you're all I got left now that Jim's dead. Don't know how we're going to make out without him. I'm sure thankful I got you, though, fella. I'd be mighty helpless without you. Come in! Come in! Hello, Ezra. That you, Sergeant Preston? Yes. All right for bring King in? Well, sure. Rex knows him. They won't fight. All right, King. Come on, boy. Find a chair, Sergeant, and sit down. Thanks, Ezra. Brought you some good news, Ezra. He did? Jim left you all his money. Guess he had no relatives. No, he didn't have no relatives. He said he'd take care of me if he died first. We've been partners a long time. No one realized that Jim's a wealthy man. Wealthy? What do you mean? He never told me. I think he didn't tell you because it might make you feel that you were holding him here. He could have gone out into the world and lived very comfortably. I wouldn't have let him stay here if I'd known. I think Jim knew that, Ezra. But since he was the cause of your losing your sight, he felt responsible. It was an accident. I never blamed Jim. But he always blamed himself. Anyway, Ezra, you're worth a hundred thousand dollars. You'll never have to worry about supporting yourself. A hundred thousand? That's right. I can't believe it. And Jim working like a fiend right up the time he died. Do you think you'll stay here in Dawson? Oh, yes, yes. I can find my way around here. Why, well, I know every inch of this cabin. And Rex knows the town. Well, that dog can take me just about anywhere I tell him to. He's as good as a pair of eyes. <laughs> now, we wouldn't like a city. Mm-hmm. Rex has never been in one. And he's worth more to me than all the money in the world. Two men were busy buying supplies in Pierre Duval's trading post in Dawson. One was a white man, the other a half-breed. You are newcomers in Dawson, no? I have not seen you here before. Yeah, we just got here. You are prospectors? We're trying to be. Uh, How much are these shovels? Over here I have some better ones. Hello, Ezra. Hello. They take me up the counter, Ezra. Hey, take that. Look, that man's blind. Yeah. Dog, lead him. Here, here is better shovel for what you want. Let's see it. Why do you look at it? I wait on Ezra. Something for you, Ezra? Need some tobacco, Pierre. All you want, Ezra. I hear about what good fortune you have. You are now rich man. Yep. We well, sure miss Jim. Say, you don't know where I can get an Indian or somebody to cook for me, do you? Oh, it's hard to find someone like that now. Everybody look for gold. <laughs> Maybe someone will come in store who want job. I try to find someone for you. I've been eating in the restaurant. But during this cold weather, I'd like to have supper cooked in the cabin. And here is your tobacco. Nice dog you got there, mister. <laughs> Rex is the best friend I got. I have never seen such nice dog. He is Ezra's eyes. I'll say he is. Couldn't get along without him. Could a boy. <laughs> Did you train him yourself? Yep. I've had him at my side since he went blind four years ago. You're lucky to have that dog, then. I sure am. Well, uh, put that back on the bill, Pierre. Uh, let's go, Rex. Goodbye. <laughs> if I hear of someone to work for you, I send him. Thanks. Does he live around here? We. Oui. He live in cabin near edge of town. How does he earn his living? He don't have to. His partner leave him lots of money when he die. He is a rich man. You want that shovel? It is ten dollars. Yeah. Sure takes a lot of money to get started up here. Yeah, I'll take it. But that's all I want. Here. You you don't want supplies? We'll be back again. 
Come on, Peter. Goodbye. Which way did that blind man go? Why you want him? I got an idea. There he is. Come on, we're following him. I want to find out where he lives. We go see him? Not today. Tomorrow you go and offer to work for him. Work for him? He didn't hear your voice. Tell him that storekeeper sent you. Why you want me work for him? I think I know how we can get enough money to get back to the States and get started up in business. And we won't have to work hard to do it. Why, you mean rob him? Nah. He wouldn't keep money laying around in his cabin. And that dog, he, he looked fierce. That's going to be part of your job, Takak. Get friendly with that dog. He's the biggest part of it all. There. You turn off trail. Yeah. He must live in that cabin in them woods. That's just what we want. No neighbors around to find out what we're doing. Tomorrow you go get that job. I sure am glad Pierre found you for me, Take Hack. I've had two days of the best eating I can remember. Glad you like food. Uh, you remembered to feed Rex, didn't you? Yes, yes, me feed him. I'm glad he's getting friendlier with you. It's funny how long it took. Well, you'd better let him out for a while. I guess I'll turn in. I'm sleepy. I'll let him out. Come on, Rex. Go on, fella. I'll be sound asleep by the time you get back. Come on, boy. Good night, take care. Oh, uh, listen for Rex. He's in the door when he wants you to come in. Good night. Come along, Rex. You want food? You follow me. Hey, still. You hungry, huh? You come back in woods. Stop it, stop it. Here, 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 fish. That's you, take that. Yes. Here, a dog. Keep still. Here, here, eat. eat. Feed them all they'll eat. I got a dog team waiting. Here's a muzzle and a leash and some rope. Blind man sleep. Him not wake up till morning. Good. Now, tomorrow morning, wait till he misses the dog. Pretend you've looked for him. Then see you found this note under the door. You don't know how or when it got there. You just happen to see it. Me do. You, you're not killed Rex? No. There's just a chance the old man won't tell nobody if he gets his dog back. We'll let Rex go when you bring the money. You think he let me take money? Well, you'll have to. He can't bring it himself. Now, this note says to leave the money at the bridge over Moose Creek. That's east of town. In case he tells anybody, that's where they'll be watching. You bring the money straight to our cave in the hills west of here. Me go town first. Cover train. A good idea. And the dog's through eating. Come on, help me get him. Every morning when Ezra awoke, he groped for the head of his big police dog at the side of his bunk. When he felt the warm tongue of Rex licking his hand, he felt safe and secure. This morning, however, he sat up with a start, his voice growing panicky when there was no answer to his cry. Rex! Rex, where are you? Rex! Rex! Hey, Cack, are you here? Oh, oh, oh. over there. Rex! Rex, where are you, boy? Take her! Take her! Me come, me come. Oh. Oh, you... You took Rex out. I, I didn't know where he was. Here, Rex. Where is he? I looked for him. He not come back last night. You mean he didn't come back after I went to sleep? No, no. I looked last night. Can't find. Why didn't you wake me? He's never done this. He wouldn't run away. Give me my parka. We'll go to town. What this on floor? What? Me find paper on floor. Someone put under door. Writing on it. Writing? Can you read? Me read. Quick, what does it say? It say, leave $10,000 in gold under Moose Creek Bridge. And your dog will be returned. If you tell police, dog will be shot. The, the dirty rats. The weasels. They, they, they take Rex from me. He's my eyes. He's my one true friend. Hurry, take Hack. Find my parker. You tell police? No, no, I can't take a chance. If they shoot Rex, I, I might as well be dead. All the money's in the bank. 
You'll have to take me to town to get it. And then you can take it out to Moose Creek. As Takak and Ezra came out of the bank, Sergeant Preston happened to be passing. Before Takak could lead Ezra away, Preston called to him. Hello, Ezra. Oh. Oh, hello. It's, it's Sergeant Preston, isn't it? Yes. What? Where's Rex, Ezra? I've never seen you without him before. Why, well, he... He didn't seem to be feeling very well, Sergeant. I... I left him home. Well, how are you getting along? Oh, fine. Pierre sent Takak to me. Oh. He's a good cook, and we're making out all right. Well, if there's anything I can do, call me. I will, Sergeant. Thanks. Take that. Take me home now. And then get that money to Moose Creek right away. Ezra sat alone in his cabin, puffing nervously at his pipe. They should be back by now. Rex, boy... They just have to bring it back to me. Come in. Come in. It's Preston, Ezra. Oh. Oh, yes. Come in. I uh, got to thinking about Rex being sick. Maybe I'd better have a look at him. Where is he? Oh, thanks, Sergeant. Uh, he's, uh... Ezra, there's something the matter. You're in trouble. No, no, I... Go on, Ezra. I... Tell me what's wrong. Where's Rex? Where's that half-breed who was with you today? Well, I... I can't tell you, Sergeant. I'd like to, but there's a reason Uh, I... you don't have to tell me. There's a note lying here on this table. Someone's taken your dog. Uh, a note? I see why you didn't want to tell me. Did you send that half-breed to Moose Creek with the money? Yes. We left a long time ago. I'm sorry, Preston, but I couldn't tell you. I was afraid for Rex. I just gotta have him back. I know, Ezra. But I'm going to Moose Creek right now and see if I can pick up the trail of the man who got your money. What? Sergeant! That's Rex! I know he's back! Open the door! Right. Yes, it's Rex, all right. Oh, Rex, old fellow. You come back. Hey, hello, boy. Are you all right? Yes, Ezra, he's all right. They haven't hurt him any. But I'm going to catch the swine that did this if it takes the rest of my life. Come on, King. Take hey, Put the money under the bridge on Moose Creek. I know a quicker way to trail them. Rex will take shortcuts coming home. King and I are backtracking on his trail. I'll see you later, Ezra. Come on, King. Buck and Takak in their cave on the trail to the border of Alaska, had finished eating and were preparing to sleep for a few hours. We'll start at daybreak, and we'll be over the border by tomorrow night. You think they trail us? I don't see how they can. You said you covered your trail by going into town, and we didn't go near Moose Creek. No. That's the only lead they have. That's all. Pull up your hands. You're under arrest. What? what, what oh, the... That gun you're covered. Uh, I'm mounting. I'll take that gun. You might make the mistake. Ah, take away. Ah, take away. Take our dog. Take dog away. Oh, ah, all right, bring back, fella. So take hack. You're trying to throw a knife, but my dog was watching you. I ought to let him tear you to pieces for your part in this dirty business, robbing a helpless blind man. Get up and get over here. Good work, King. We'll take them back to jail where they belong. These copyrighted dramas originate in the studios of WXYZ Detroit, and all characters, names, places, and incidents used are fictitious. They are sent to you each week at the same time. <laughs>